In today's video, we are opening up a $2,000 makeup mystery box. $2,000 worth of makeup, and I don't even know what's inside of this. <laughs> oh God, say a prayer. Let me pull this up to the side for a second. This is so heavy. Okay, hello you guys, James Charles here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, you can already see what's going on here, okay? We've done this video two times now. Makeup mystery boxes. They have been all the craze, and it's the literal dumbest concept on planet Earth to me, spending your hard-earned coins on something when you don't know what you're receiving? No! No, 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 no! But you keep asking for this. I've done this once with a $500 makeup mystery box. I've done this twice with a $1,000 makeup mystery box. And now I'm doing this with a $2,000 and probably also 2,000 pound makeup mystery box. People always really love these videos though because it's really fun to unbox everything, see what's inside. Sometimes there's some really great items. Sometimes there's some hidden gems. And sometimes the box contains some absolutely crazy things which are illegal, should never be shipped in the mail and make the entire box a scam. I am praying that that is not the case for today video. The whole idea is that the amount of money you spend on the box guarantees that the items inside add up to that same value, if not a little bit more. So $2,000 worth of makeup. I don't even know what we're going to find, but let's go ahead and open this up. All right, if you guys are excited for today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up down below. As I said, you have been requesting this, okay? $2,000 is expensive to be spending on literally anything, let alone mystery makeup, but I did this for you. So give this video a big thumbs up down below. If you have not already, make sure you click that big red subscribe button. Let's see. Oh God. I Hi, babe. It's like the fucking MLM girls. Hi, boss babe, girly pop. I hope you enjoyed this massive makeup mystery box. I am an influencer, low key, low key. Literally shut up. I am an influencer, low key, low key, and I get way too much PR. I know, a good problem to have, but I just have to get rid of it. So my assistant is putting this box together to dissolve some of the clutter. On second thought, we should be banning TikTok. This is guaranteed to be worth the $2,000 price tag and have enough for a full face or two. Is that supposed to be like a two-faced joke? I wanna know whoever wrote this. Totally cute to unbox, but maybe keep my name out of it so I don't get in trouble, hee <laughs> hee. Enjoy, babe, XOXO. Oh my God, that's who fucking sent this out? <laughs> oh, what? No way. Ew, literally ew. Okay, I'm gonna keep her name out of the video because the note did request, but I'm gonna send her a message and be like, you're a fucking loser. I have to, I have to. She has to know. So looking inside, we have a ton of packing material. This is literally hell on earth. Do you wear wigs? Ooh. Oh, fuck. Wig, okay. Wig, did you just say wig? Yes. I know. Ilya, blue light mist. Huh? What the fuck does that even mean? Is this the same shit where people are trying to be like, ah, oh, your phones are emitting blue light, so you need to fucking, shut the fuck up. We're all dying one day. Okay, get over it. Mmm, okay. Smells nice. A Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. All right. Refi Lash. Oh, is this the new one that just came out? It must be because it's from the PR. I'm not on this PR list. Okay, now I get to try it. Okay, okay. Everyone's been talking about this because this is a new mascara. Look at the shape of this wand. Like, huh? Hello? That is so crazy. Oh my God, we have Michaela's collab with P. Louise. Oh wait, this is just the brush set though. She fucking kept the palette for herself and said, I don't need any new brushes. <laughs> Bitch. Oh my God, this is crazy. Chroma cover, medium coverage, soft filter foundation. I don't think I've ever tried anything from Be Perfect before, so that's exciting. I've tried their palettes. Did she get thirsty while packing this? <laughs> Hello? What the fuck? You're charging me $2,000 for a makeup mystery box. You have so much excess makeup. Your assistant that you employ has to pack it up for you and you can only get good and gather water. Bitch, at least a Fiji subscription. At least. Oh my God! Okay, yes. Huda Beauty Faux Filler Lip Gloss. How did she get these? I haven't even gotten the PR package for this yet. And I am on this list. Super Goop SPF. Oh, I just ran out of mine. Actually, so that's good. A lot of Super Goop in here. I do care. White cat headband. Put it on. No. Put it on. Fuck you. Put it on. Shut up. We have House Labs blush. Fun. That's cute. Ooh, BH Cosmetics Weekend Vibes Belgian Waffle Bronzer and Highlighter Palette. This is cute. A little like waffle thing. Waffle. Right, it is giving waffle. Oh my God, Miami Flares. <gasps> you guys, these used to be my absolute favorites. You guys remember? Oh, more Lilies. Some Dohas, NYC's, and Miami's. 
a classic. Honestly, right there is 30, 16, 90. That's $120 of the $2,000 mystery box right then and there. Oh, big box. Be Perfect Cosmetics Amplified Shadow Palette. Oh, very pretty. It kind of reminds me of like a, a cooler tone version of basic canvas. Oh, Summer Friday's Jet Lag Mask. Oh, I need to remember to pack this when I actually fly. Love that. We have some lollipops in here. Grape, sour apple. Ooh. Oh, no. Hmm. Oh, Patrick Ta. Oh my God. Love. What is this? For face? Major Headlines Blush Volume 2. Oh, pretty. Okay. Love that. Oh my God. This is a fucking pair of socks. Avocado Toast Palette. <laughs> Take a guess at what the first shade is called. It's Avo something. Avocastic? Mm -mm. Avocado? Ew, what? <laughs> Ooh, Kylie Cosmetics Tinted Butter Balm. I don't know if she had lip balms. What the fuck? Since when did she ever release these? <gasps> that was such a beautiful little kiss print that I just, look at that. That should be on a t-shirt. Right? Oh, another benefit liner. <sighs> More lashes. Oh, a candle. Fresh linen. Mmm. Okay, bitch, that's sickening. Hello, love that. L'Oreal Blue Eyeliner. Benefit Fan Fest, Fest Mascara. MAC Lip Gloss. Um, oh, Victoria Beckham. Smoke Eye Brick. That is crazy. Smoky Eye Brick. <gasps> This is the smallest little thing I've ever seen in my life. Wait, I just looked up how much that is. Guess how much that is. $64. It's $60. Why am I, am I a genius? Hello? $60 for this little shit package. Oh my God. What is this? It's just a fucking yellow t-shirt. Oh, it's a bodysuit. I don't think this is PR, girl. This is giving like four cents from Shein. Oh my gosh. Okay, on the bottom of the box, she actually went through and printed out a full breakdown of the price of every single item. Okay, wow. In total, this mystery box is worth $2,142 and zero cents. Well, to her, this was actually zero dollars and zero cents because this is all from her fucking mailbox. Let me get everything organized. Let me pick out what I'm gonna use for a full face of makeup routine today and we'll get right into it. All right, let's get right into this makeup routine today. I picked out my things that I want to use and we're gonna start off with our Too Faced RX Hangover Primer. This used to be a cult classic staple. It's been years since I've picked this up. Let's see, okay? I'm not hungover. I don't need to be replenished, but I do need to be primed. So this is probably sitting in a drawer somewhere for years before she finally gave it up. For foundation, I'm actually very excited to try this. This is from Be Perfect Cosmetics and look at how fucking cool this packaging is. Chroma Cover Matte Foundation. And this is in the shade N3. It's actually looking like it could be a good match for me as well. So I'm going to, yeah, look at how cool this is. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze a little bit out onto my little painted palette. Hello? Hello? Girl, are you fucking kidding me? Hello? Okay, I guess I'm just gonna, whatever. Let's see how far that gets me. I'm gonna use my beautiful P. Louise X. Michaela foundation brush here. Whoa, ooh, full coverage. Oh my gosh, mm, smells nice too. That is a full coverage foundation. Holy shit, this looks really good. All right, let's go ahead and try our Lancome Tinty Dull Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. Ooh, this Dofa applicator is really nice. Oh my God, yes, there's a lighter shade too. Okay, I'm gonna use this to really add a nice highlight. We're gonna blend this out. Oh my God, my fucking skin and base right now look amazing. I am into it. Let's add some blush. I'm gonna open up this little Patrick Ta palette here. And I'm gonna use, I guess I'll use this pinky shade. Well, maybe I'll use like a little bit of these too. Let's see. On second thought, as I'm actually blending this out, I think that I maybe don't like this concealer. I think that the foundation has insane coverage and this concealer does not, but adding no coverage on top of already great coverage just seems like it's more good coverage. Now we're gonna go ahead and set this in place using our Say Air Set Radiant Translucent Setting Powder. I think that I have tried this before in a video and I think that I remember that I hated it. It does say that it's a radiant setting powder and for me, immediately that is an automatic, absolutely fucking not because literally what's the fucking point then? Oh my God, there's like actual like radiance. To be fair, is in the name, okay? It's doing it as advertised. It's not like, it's not like this is a scam product, but I just, I'm not interested in that. It's not awful, but I would never reach for the setting powder myself. I'm like fucking. <laughs> That 
was gorgeous. Mariah could literally never. <laughs> Let me grab this fucking Belgian waffle palette because we need to contour our face, okay? I'm gonna grab into a little bit of batter. Batter up, maybe a little cinnamon too. And we're gonna use this to chisel out these here cheekbones, all right? Okay, over top, we're gonna add some of our House Labs blush. I've never tried these before, actually. I'm excited to use this. I know this has gotten quite a lot of shit on TikTok, especially, because the packaging, I actually think is very cute, but the old ones of these used to be like double the size. And I think that the price has remained the same. So that's not good. <laughs> that's, that's never good. So let's see though. Let's see how this actually performs on my face. Ooh, that's okay. I feel like I've heard really good things about this and I do like it. I'm certainly not like disappointed by it, but I'm not as impressed as I anticipated being. This is the only brow product that I got, huh? The brow glue. I don't actually have anything to fill them in. Ardell Brow Glue. I've never tried this before. Instant lamination. <sighs> These are always great before you start off your makeup routine. Oh my God, see this drives me fucking crazy. Every time these stupid glues, they always take off the foundation above the eyebrows. <gasps> like you could literally see where the glue is. That is just not, Good. Who wants that? Okay, I'm gonna need to like use something to fill these in, obviously, because that looks like crazy. Let me use a little marker. Hold on. Brows are done. This is the best that we're gonna get for today. Not too bad. This glue sucks. It is holding them in place nicely, which is great, but this like makes me really want to invent a bomb ass brow gel or maybe even a brow glue for painted that just like doesn't do this. Maybe I'm delusional here because obviously this happens every single time. So maybe it's not possible, but I'm gonna figure it out because I'm so sick of a brow glue that just takes off everything underneath. For eyeshadow today, we're gonna use this Be Perfect Amplified Palette. And I am so excited because this is so pretty to me. I love the gray tones. I don't play with shades like this that often. This shade like delay, holler, intense. I wanna do something here. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm, I'm gonna do something. This video is already getting super long, so I'm just gonna speed through the shadow look, but I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes. We are back, both eyes are now complete, and you guys, I'm being so serious when I say this might be like one of my new favorite palettes. The shades in this are just so pretty. I don't think that I've like ever really done a gray eyeshadow look like this, and it's stunning. This is so beautiful. I feel like it's giving very matte, very 90s vibes. Like, I love this. It is so, so cool. Let's move on to the next step, which is going to be lashes and mascara. Now, for mascara, we have two different options. We have the Benefit Fan Fest, but then we also have this Refi Mascara. Now, this has been going viral all over TikTok because look at how crazy this like mascara wand is. It's like curved. <laughs> seen that before. I'm just like so curious to see how this is going to work when it's actually like applying to my lashes. Now, if you actually look really, really closely, you zoom all the way in, the bristles on this end are much longer and the ones at the tip are much shorter, which I think is basically so you can use it to hug your eyes and get more product focused on the outer corners or something. Honestly, I don't know, I'm talking out of my ass. I'm just like making a guess here, but let's see. Oh no, I hate this wand. It like is not actually easy to apply the product. And what really sucks is honestly, the formula I think is pretty good. Like, look at that. They actually did a really nice job of like keeping the lashes nice and lifted and gorgeous and separated. Like it's, it's a nice formula. Just this wand is like a little hard to use. I'm gonna grab my fan fast and I'm gonna see if I can do like a nice second coat on top of this. That looks amazing. Hello. Oh, it's so pretty. You guys, I feel so nice. I love this little makeup look. I have several different pairs of lashes from the mystery box today, but honestly, I think that I want to skip out on lashes. I think that this looks very pretty. And I think that although these lashes are a nice style that I would have enjoyed several years ago, they're just big. They're so gigantic. And I really like this shadow look and how beautiful and like minimalist it is. I don't want to take away from the entire thing with the gigantic lash. So we're gonna skip. Let's move on to lips. We're almost done. A lip liner was not included in this little box. So I am gonna do a little bit of my my own. I'm gonna grab MAC Stone to match the nice gray vibes that we have going on. Okay, that color is so pretty. And now on top, we are going to grab the Huda Beauty Faux Filler Lip Gloss. I am really excited to try this because these have been all over my For You page. These are a brand new launch from Huda. I will say this is not the most ideal color that I would have selected. <laughs> it seems like she got the PR package and said, mm, this one's ugly. So we're gonna toss it into there. But apparently this gloss is like the best formula ever or so Huda claims. And she's usually right. So I'm down, let's see. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know if you guys have ever really noticed this in my videos, but I never wear lip gloss. The sensation of it really, really bothers me. I don't know why, but I just hate when my lips feel like they're gonna stick together. They get crusty so quickly. You can just like feel it smacking around. It's 
up. This not my vibe, but this is the best my lips have ever felt with a gloss on. <laughs> I'm blown away. Huda did not lie. Oh my God, she ate this up. Okay, okay. All right, Miss Huda. Last but not least, set this shit in place, okay? With our nice... Ilya Blue Light Filter Protect and Set Mist. Shut the fuck up. Like, shut up. Obviously, we're all addicted to our phones, but the fact that you're trying to convince us that staring at our phone for the day is enough blue light to give us skin problems, please. Fucking please. But thank God. Thank God for this Ilya Blue Light Filter. So that way I can stare at my phone all day long and it will not disrupt my makeup. I will say, it feels very nice. <laughs> the sensation is nice, the smell is nice. I don't know if it's gonna do anything. Well, it's not gonna do anything, I'll tell you that right now, but my makeup is set. This look is done. And that is my full face of makeup using only products from a $2,000 mystery box, all complete. Oh my God, this has been quite the roller coaster today. I was very scared to spend $2,000. I had no idea how this unboxing was going to go, but we had some weird things, we had some decent things, but overall, I would say most things in this package were really, really good. A lot of items that I was excited to try. I mean, clearly, look at the final makeup look. I feel so beautiful right now. This is a great, great, great final result. I would definitely say, of the three mystery boxes we've done so far, this one has been the most worth my money, even though it was the most expensive. But then at the same time, we also found out that this was an influencer who has now made $2,000 worth of profit because all of these things were free to her. So life's all about balance. <laughs> I wish I could tell you guys who this was. It really would make so much sense. I'm definitely gonna send her a message. And honestly, I feel like I need to message some of these brands too and be like, this bitch is selling your PR. Take her off the list. But that's a conversation for another day. For right now, if you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. Your love and support really helps out the channel quite a lot. And if you have not already, come join our family by clicking that big red subscribe button down below, as well as the bell icon next to it so you guys never miss an upload from me. Leave me a comment down below letting me know if you guys wanna see any other makeup mystery box videos but honestly, at this point, like, I don't want to spend more money on this. What would even be next? Like $3,000? No. No, no, no. Oh, well. <laughs> if you want to follow me on other social media platforms, Instagram, TikTok, just James Charles. And of course, if you want to follow my brand Painted, it is at painted.co. Stream my song, Call Me Back. More songs coming very, very soon. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.